Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I am going to cover this canvas with a whole bunch of paint in all kinds of random patterns and hope that I can get away with doing what I have planned, which is a swipe with the one tool I didn't use the other day, which is my usual tool, which is a damp cotton rag. Now, I want to do this from more than one direction, and I don't want to do it right down the middle like I did. It depends on where the paint winds up. I want some magenta. And I want pretty colors. I also want some green that I wasn't very happy with in one of my pieces today, but what's that come out of there? And I love this Modern Masters, but it really is nice with a couple of other orange colors, even including, where'd the go? Yep, the copper which looks really, really similar to it, actually. And I think I'm going to give myself a little purple. And I might add some white, but I'm going to definitely take advantage of this metallic turquoise, which is probably any craft paint. Definitely nothing specific. What color do I not have in there? I know what I don't have in there. I never, ever use enough of this cobalt blue with shimmer effect added. I don't have any of my favorite. If I use this neon multi-surface, I have to also put white near it. So I will do that. Ooh, I wonder what that'll look like. That green is great with that purple. I have a funny feeling that I'm going to need another kind of swipe cloth. I have a damp cotton piece of hem but I might have to rinse it off if I'm going to use it like I think I am. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is put some white down next to my orange. Excuse me, my, my purple. And I really want a little more of this. And a little more is probably all I've got anyway. Oh, it's time to mix some more paint. That's not even coming out anymore. All right, I've got some yellow, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and give myself permission and hope that that's okay. Let's grab the white enamel and put it next to or around the purple. Because I'm going to use I'm going to use the black as my swipe color. I probably have more colors there than I need. Are there any that I want that I don't have? And yes, the answer is yes. I love this magenta. It's very similar to the other one that I used, but it's not the same. And I kind of want a little bit more of this purple. Like I said, I'll probably have too much color. So what I like to do is <laughs> when I don't put all my bottles down on top of them, I like to have an edge catcher handy, and I have all of my bottles on top of it. So I'm going to take a moment and look around and see if there's a couple of the colors I want that I don't have in there. Among them, the Masterminds. Excuse it, that was an Art Minds, and they're not making that anymore. Or somebody told me they were about to come out with it again. Um, they're rebranding, and I, I would love for that to be true. So, last but not least sort of thing. Do I have enough orange in there? Do I ever have enough orange? That is a color shift that I seldom use, and I want some of that right now, because I can. So, let's see what I can do for myself. I'm going to go, I'm going to try and go from the inside, from the outside in, first of all. And what I used to do, and what I'm going to do now, is take my little rag, dip it in that paint, and let it slide down over the side. And I'm going to let that slide all the way over that side. 
the problem with the 12 by 16s is obvious to me that it's just smaller than the tile is so much so I'm going to have a really hard time. I'm going to use the paint that I, that I just knocked off on my tile just, just to fill in the spots and my finger and not worry about that. So now I'm going to do something similar but not the same because I want to try stuff, different stuff. And that is... to add the enamel <laughs> in different places, not just one all down the center. And I'm going to use all the colors on my rags, on my rag. And I might have to give myself permission to try the acetate because the rag is very schmutzy now. Or I might just use that rag and all that paint to cover all the rest of my edges right now while I can, because I can. Oh, the cells are awesome. I'm getting some really nice cells. I also have some beautiful paint that I can pick up with this rag, I hope, and just put down on the side, like so. I'll tell you what, it's definitely time for me to grab that paint before it turns completely brown, and just use it to pull some other paint over the edge. Throw that in the bucket, and Right, I really want that rag again. So I rinsed it out and I'm going right over here. And I can't have all of it and I'm gonna wind it up, roll it up again. Push it right down in. use the paint like I have been. Just turn the cloth right around on the edge. That's pretty cool. I'm going to fold it in half. You know what? I've got paint right there. I'm going to use that enamel right here. Boy, that's a big bubble. Goodbye bubble. And that's a spot I can just fill in with my finger. Now, I've got this I want to come over. I really want to rinse that rag off again, but maybe not. I'm just going to use it and see if I can get away with it. I'm going to let that paint relax right off that rag and use it right in that spot. I used to do these curvy swipes back when I didn't use silicone. I might even have done a few with silicone, but um, in any case, whatever space I've got on the edges is gonna get covered right now with a whap from that painty rag. And I expect, since I didn't overly agitate it too much, that it will work. If it doesn't, that was probably more paint than I needed, but I'm in love with the result, so I don't care right now. No guilt. That's gorgeous. Just around and around with a little satin enamel. Now watch those cells pop right up. Now look for any spots that I might have missed and stick my finger right in them. Just beautiful. Totally just plain straight up beautiful. All because of that black gloss enamel from Folk Art. And it could probably be any enamel. I'm not sure. It behooves you to play with it and find out. I don't have nearly as much pink in there as I thought I would like. But I think I'm okay with that. And I'm always tempted to do more things. But this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. I'm about to blow through a straw. Because I can, the name of my book on the Amazon link below show more, the first blue link. And you can find the second book I put published, volume two, is Unlimited Possibilities. And if you shop that Amazon link, you help me out, and I really appreciate it. Just like I appreciate having a thumbs up, please, that really helps my standing at YouTube. 
but um, the most helpful thing you can do is to watch the videos m longer and uh, and more. So if you're looking for playlists, look for creative playlists on my channel. You'll find PayPal and Patreon there also. If you're looking to become a studio supporter, it's a $10 minimum, but you get into a monthly drawing where you will be eligible to win and receive a receipt of, from me immediately when you do donate. Um, one of several paintings, at least. Last month was seven paintings and two books and a calendar. And um, this month is going to be a lesson, if you happen to be in Florida and be lucky enough to have one if you want one. Um, a lesson and a few paintings that I haven't chosen yet but I guarantee that I will, and either one of the first two books that I published, and the only two books that I published so far. But um, I love you guys. Look for the Teespring under the video. That's clothing with all over print uh, leggings and all over print t-shirts and all kinds of other cool stuff. And um, my recipe, my paint pouring recipe is under the video. If you read down far enough, open show more. And you can find Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links there too. My Pinterest boards have a lot of stuff on them. And it's fun to go there. I told you about Amazon. What else? Oh. Huh. 11 lists of genres on my playlists on my channel. And uh, on created playlists. And also 10 lists. 9 with 100. And the 10th one's being populated. And I'm going to do this with more red and more pink next time. But I love what happens with all of this stuff. And I love you guys. And there's 5 minutes left. And that's really okay with me. I don't think I've forgotten anything, but I might have. Facebook Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors, Expressionist Art Studio Totes, and more. The first one is for students. The second one is for collectors. The third one is for people who might want to check out the Shop Now button and go to my FineArtAmericaPixels.com site where you can see what I've been posting since 2013. I really do love you guys. Uh, thanks for being here. Check the community board and or Facebook group expression to start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for tomorrow's video. I often post them the night before and sometimes the morning before, the day before. So don't be disappointed if it says private because it's not. If you lose your notifications, try and turn them on, but um, good luck with that. <laughs> I love you guys. Uh, thank you for your support. You are the reason I'm here and why I stay here. Your help is imperative. So thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for watching the videos longer. Thank you for putting up with the commercials. If you can't contribute any other way, just know that that's a huge help to me. And I appreciate you so much. Have a happy new year. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I got a mess to clean up. Oh. I'm going to do that again on a bigger canvas. Woohoo! Bye now. Love you.